everybody. Remember about maybe about three months ago, I did the video uh, after I had watched the Dr. Oz show where he talked about the phytoceramides and vitamin C and retinol. If you didn't see that show and you want to look at it or my video, go, uh, I'll link it right down below so that you can go see that. But uh, I've been taking the phytoceramides now for this is my third month. This is my third bottle. I still have a few left. And I will tell you that I really can't see a difference. I look really hard. And if I can see maybe I, maybe a little softness around my mouth, the, the lines that I have around my mouth from uh, drinking from a straw all these years, uh, they may be a little bit softer, but it's not a it's really not enough to warrant continuing to take these so uh this will be my last bottle of these uh also dr oz talked about using vitamin c in the morning retinol in the, at night and so uh let me show you what i've been doing first of all uh both morning and night uh, after I cleanse my skin, I'm using the Josie Moran Argan Oil. I love this. I just love it. I love it. I love it. And what I do with that is I put just a few drops in my hand, rub my hands together, and then I go all over my face, my neck, and anything that's left, I put on my hands. So, morning and night, first thing. In the morning... Uh, I'm using my vitamin C, and what I've been using, I had ordered a kit from HSN Serious Skin Care, and um, that's what I've been using, and I'm almost out of it. So let me show it to you. I need my glasses. Now, this came with the kit, and I sort of think it was just like a little gift. It's the Pure Prep Fading Fluid Peptide powered skin brightening fluid. Can't read it even with my glasses on. So I've been using this. Then I've been using the vitamin C serum. I'm using the C cream with an SPF of 30. And I'm using the CI. So that's, that's my morning. Uh, for night, I've been using the Neutrogena. And I have used the Rock Retinol products in the past, and I really liked them, really liked them. Uh, and would have used those too when I wanted to try this see in the morning retinol at night thing and the photoceramides that Dr. Oz talked about. But I had seen... Emily Noel and her mother talk about the Neutrogena and she absolutely loved it and really felt like she saw results from it. So that's what I went out and purchased. And what I purchased to start using at night, get my glasses on again, the Ageless Intensives Deep Wrinkle Anti-Wrinkle Serum in the Neutrogena. I got the Rapid Wrinkle Repair Serum, two serums, and the Deep Wrinkle Moisture for Nighttime. This is the one that I think her mother was using and thought was so wonderful. To be honest with you, I could not, this I will not repurchase. The, for me personally, the rock is so much better, so much better. It, um, you know, when I put the rock on my skin, the next morning, my skin, I can feel my skin feels so much better. I can definitely tell a difference in my skin. My, I don't know what it is. My skin feels plumper. It feels firmer in the morning when I get up, when I use that rock. I, this, this, there's just nothing. I mean, I sort of feel like I might as well be putting water on my face. I don't like this at all. I don't particularly like the the slip of it, I guess, when I apply it. I, I just, I really didn't like anything about the Neutrogena. And as I said, I will not repurchase this. 
I will go back to the rock and start using the rock. Now, I'm almost out of all of this vitamin C, and I don't know yet what I'm going to do uh, about vitamin C. Um, I just don't know. Uh, I am looking for some different things, and, and we'll just see. I will continue to use my Josie Moran morning and night. And something else I do, uh, when I use a product, I don't care what it is, and I put, after I've put it on my face, I, any that's left on my hands, I make sure and rub the, the backs of my hands, and I'll even go up my arms as far as I, as far as the product will go, uh, I don't want to waste one bit of it, and I feel like if it's good for my face, it's probably good for my hands too. So, I do I really do that. So I love I love the uh, regimen, I guess is how I want to say it uh, that I'm doing. I, I love after I cleanse my face to use the Josie Moran I, I, uh, Argon Oil. I absolutely love this. Um, I like the vitamin C in the morning. I like the retinol at night. So I'm going to stay with that. I really and truly don't think there are any products out there that will really make a huge difference in my skin anyway. You know, I'm older than so many of you. Uh, I, my skin has been aging for 69 years. And I'm just, I truly, I know, I truly believe that there's not a product out there that's going to make a drastic uh, change in my skin texture uh, or the appearance of my skin. I really don't. I really don't. I think I've gotten to the point where if I can just maintain, somehow sort of maintain where I am, I'm going to be real happy until I decide whether or not to do any fillers or any surgery. Or I wanted to tell you about a little video that I watched on Facebook a couple of days ago, and it's something that you might be interested in going and looking at, too. Uh, I follow Suzanne Summers. I, I really do like Suzanne. I Sometimes she sort of gets, I can get a little bit too much of Suzanne, but uh, I, I have an awful lot of respect for her. I, I just truly believe that uh, Suzanne has knowledge that we're not hearing. You know, we're, we're just not hearing some of this from doctors and the professionals out there. She's, she's bending the rules and she's doing research and she's learning and she's teaching, she's writing about it. And some of it seems so out there, so far-fetched, but I, there's so much, I think, that she's doing right. And uh, when you see Suzanne on television, she's always perfect. I mean, she's, I think she's beautiful. I mean, when you look at her age, she's two or I think three years younger than I am, but she, I, I love her hair. Her makeup is always perfect. Uh, her, she has a great body. She dresses sexy. She just looks good. Uh, and you have to give that to her. But uh, I remember oh, years ago, watching her when she was on Home Shopping Club with Colleen one night. And Suzanne had a new lighting guy. She had hired someone who was going to be traveling with her who would do her lighting anytime she was on television. And we all know here on YouTube that for those of us who make videos, lighting is everything. We need lighting. And as a matter of fact, uh, I'm going to try to remember after I'm finished with this video, I'm going to turn my camera around so that you can see my lighting. But lighting is everything. So anyway, getting... I do follow Suzanne on Facebook. And uh, a couple of days ago, there was a video she had posted uh, of her and Alan, she and Alan, at, at their home in the desert, and there was a, a young female reporter who was coming to their house to uh, have dinner and interview them. Suzanne was cooking. So Suzanne's lighting person was not there. 
and there were a lot of close-ups in this little short video. In fact, most of it was close-ups of Suzanne's face. And Susan, her hair looked wonderful, but I'm sure she had done her own makeup and her lighting person wasn't there. And I'm telling you, Suzanne does not have the best skin in the world. Uh, I had heard that before, but again, you know, when you, when you see her or anyone on television, usually there's good lighting. And uh, so I just really didn't think a whole lot about it until I saw this video and I saw really how uh, what her skin really looks like. Uh, it's not smooth at all. There's a lot of texture um, issues. I guess it's what I want to say. Uh, her skin is just, let's say her skin is not smooth. Her skin is very aged and... I suspect that it's from sun because, you know, Suzanne lives in the desert. She loves the desert. She talks about that a lot. So she, uh, I'm sure she's just like me and everybody else in our age bracket. We way, way, way overdid it uh, for so many years out in the sun and didn't take care of our skin. And she's paying the price for it. And I am, and most of us are, I do believe that. But you might want to go look at that video if you've ever really thought about her skin. I'm sure Suzanne has had some fillers and, you know, different things done. And let me tell you, that is perfectly okay with me. I don't care at all. I think she looks wonderful. I think she works hard to maintain her image. And it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. So... The younger you are, the easier it is. And those of you who are uh, getting on up there close to me, you know that it takes a lot of work uh, if we want to be presentable. Uh, or at least it does for me. Let me tell you, it does for me. So uh, go if you don't follow Suzanne and you want to see that, go to her. Probably you can just go to her Facebook page and find it. It's a really cute video uh, of her and Alan and... Uh, talking about their date nights and it's just cute it was fun but it made me feel a little bit better about my skin too because I actually I watched that video probably two or three times just to see her skin uh, and I do know that my skin is better than hers I, I will say that I I have some things going on wrinkling here and I think I've told y'all before I've got a little where my face is starting to sag I've got some little wrinkling here and of course I have the jowls in the neck uh, but uh, my skin is is pretty good I think I think I'm 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 as happy as I can be with my skin for my age uh, so that's it I hope you go out and have a wonderful wonderful day it's beautiful here the sun is shining uh, it's in the 60s I think we're supposed to get some rain tonight but it really is pretty I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And please, please leave me a comment. Bye.